Hey everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of Monkeying Around Reviews. Today, we have the Maceone Bluetooth Car Stereo. So obviously, it has Bluetooth, so you can connect your phone to it to talk through the phone or listen to the music. It has FM stereo. It has the ability to add a rear view camera, so when you go in reverse, you can see what's going on. It's got a USB port, and it's got an SD card slot. It also has an aux in port on the front, so you can plug in a MP3 player or your phone through the headphone jack and listen to it that way if it doesn't happen to have Bluetooth coming from it. So the reason I got this car stereo is the one that's in my van went bad. This one looks a lot like the old one, but it had a different button configuration that made a little bit more sense to me. So let's open this up and take a look at uh, what it looks like. So as we open up the box, you're going to see that in here is the car stereo and some foam holding it in place. The first thing that's going to come out are these two plugs with cables. Um, one of these is for all the power and the other one is for the speakers. There's also going to be a key in here. This is to help you uh, pull out your existing radio uh, or pull this one out once you need to take it out. It's just a long um, piece of metal with a little piece right here that pushes in to the locks of the radio. Here are those two cables I was talking about. Each one's color coded and it will make sense when we do the install. There is the instruction manual. This one is actually in English, where my previous radio had plenty of instruction manuals, but none of them were in English for some reason, even though the menu on the radio was. A remote control. And then the car stereo itself. Very impressive, the stereo is very small, but all those features we talked about are in this car stereo. So you see around the radio here, there's this little piece of metal that wraps around the whole thing. That's the piece that actually hooks up to the vehicle and then the radio goes into it. So you would actually use these keys here. You push them into these little slots on the front. There's a second key in here as well. You do the same thing on this side. And that loosens the radio so you can pull it out from this little transport piece like so. So this part will sit in the vehicle, this part is what will lock into it, and then these are the keys so you can take it in and out if you ever needed to. On the back of the radio you will see the two slots for those cables that I showed you earlier, and then you have a video and audio here for output, so if you want to watch it on another monitor you can, and then the other video port here is for your rear view camera. Then right over here, you have the port for your antenna. Here on the front of the radio, you have all your controls. You have your volume dial, power and band, and then these six buttons are for your stations and then for the controls of when you're watching a movie or listening to Bluetooth. These buttons right here is why I went with this model. My previous one did not have the one through six, so I had to go uh, next and previous if I wanted to go to the pre-programmed stations. So I thought it was kind of nice that if I wanted to go to station 6 and I was on station 2, I can just press 6 and it's good to go. And lastly over here you have this little slot here which is for SD cards and then this little piece here opens up and this will be for USB sticks. Now I haven't tested it out yet but I was reading saying that this will not charge it is only for uh, getting information into here. So you load up a stick with music or movies and it'll play on the screen that's right here, the 4.1 inch screen. All right, so I'm gonna take all this over to the van and we're gonna install it and we're gonna see how it works. See you in a second. All right, so I finished installing the radio into the car and so far I am very happy with it. Everything works great except for the Bluetooth. Uh, the Bluetooth playing music from the phone is fine, but the Bluetooth 
talking and making a phone call works maybe half of the time. So sometimes it'll connect and you won't be able to hear or talk back. Um, but then it will kick in at some point randomly. But the music itself, that works fine. Radio stations work and the USB drive works and the rear camera works. All right, so we're gonna turn the car on now. The radio should turn on automatically. There you go. You are amazing. And it's you going to be a radio station. The last standing volume works good. I'm going to turn the volume down right now just so we don't get in trouble for whatever may be on the radio. What is nice about this that this radio has that my other one does not is these buttons here actually control the station. So this is station one, station two, station three, and so on. The radio I had before this only worked with the forward and back button. So anytime you try to save something, it would go into a weird search routine. This button up here is your power button and your menu button. So right now it's got radio, Bluetooth music, and aux in, which is this port right here. Go back to the radio. Down here is the band, so FM1, 2, 3, and then back to FM1. This radio does not have AM radio, it's FM only. Uh, to get into the menu, this took me a little bit to figure out, but you hold the power button, or sorry, you hold the volume button for a few seconds, and it brings up your menu. So you have radio, USB, SD card, aux, oops, aux, and then settings, or setup. So you choose your setup, this way you can choose your language, set your time, default your area to what country you're in, uh, if it's 12 or 24 hour, and also the colors. Like I've set this on purple, you can choose any color or keep it on random. Another thing that works in here which is nice is this SD and USB port. So if I'm gonna put in this USB stick here, it's going to read that there's USB and it's going to play whatever's on it. Turn the volume back up. Give it a second. There it is. There's our lovely intro. You can see it's playing pretty good. All the colors are nice and clean. It's very legible. And then this right here, don't worry about that. This is a Mac stick, so it has some um, it has some files on here that the system can't read because they're not video or audio. So what's also nice about this is I have wired this to do uh, rear camera. So all you gotta do is put the car into reverse and this will switch over and there's the camera that's in the back of the car. It's automatic. You don't have to go hit a button. It just knows that you're in reverse and it goes into it. Now that did take me a while to figure out because it works differently than my other car. My other one, you just plug the camera into it and the head unit knew that the camera had power when you went into reverse. This radio is a little bit different. There is a pink wire that's coming off the back of it, that pink wire needs to hook into the backup power. So the head unit needs to be told that you're in reverse while the camera also needs to be told that you're in reverse for it to turn on. So it's an extra wire. Um, I did some research. It took a little bit of time to find, but there was a wire on the front of my vehicle so I didn't have to run another line all the way back to the camera. So if you're going to do that, you might want to check because there should be a wire at the front of the car as well that's coming from the fuse box. It's going to be powering the uh, backup lights so you don't have to run two wires back there. But if you're running the initial wire for the camera, you might as well run just both of them so you only have to do it once. So there you have it. There's the Maceon Bluetooth car stereo that I just installed in the vehicle. Everything's working great. 
except for the Bluetooth. Hopefully I'll figure out what the issue is and it'll work better. But for now, everything else is working. I just can't really make a phone call while driving. But my vehicle couldn't do that beforehand, so we're okay. It's not anything I'm missing. So once again, this is Monkey Around Reviews. I hope you enjoyed today's review. If you liked it, please say so in the comments below. And please make sure that you subscribe.